While using a tablet or a smartphone for doing data collection contains many advantages in order to have many people collect data, have the data automatically digitized, and there's a lot of things that talk to the solution. However, there's also many reasons why one might want to go back to the good old pen and paper solution. So take out a printed map into the field and then do registrations on top of that. Um, not everyone has a tablet. Um, there can be a lot of technical issues. So I'll try and demonstrate how one should prepare a map for use in the field. I'll be using the same area as we've been doing on the on the tablet version. So we're going out and do a poster data collection around the university campus. But I'll just um, mine the area a bit out because around the campus there are, are several fields. And um, it, if you are working in relatively featureless areas, there are some considerations that you should um, take because once we have printed out our map, done our field registration, we want to get our map back into ArcMap and um, there we need some points, some so-called ground control points that we can assign coordinates to. And if you're working in a featureless area as a field or a forest, it can be difficult to find these ground control points and it's therefore a good idea to create some artificial ones before you go out and print your map. So what you'll do is that you'll start out by creating a uh, simple little shape file. Um, I just call it, um, so I went into our catalog, um, some folder and I'll say new shape file and I'll just call it G CP ground control points. It's going to be a point file and I'll assign it the coordinate system of our image in this case, this one we use in Denmark. So that's basically all I need to do. I say OK and that's it. I can then go into my table contents. I can right click on my object, my TCP points. And I can go down and say edit, start editing, and then I can click. So once you've, you've started editing, you will start your feature creator, brings up this window, and we can that, click on this and then choose to create our points. I'll be needing some ground control points out in this more or less featureless surroundings. So I'll put some points in these fields um, where it could be difficult to find um, reference points and I'll just uh, put one just in the center of the university Doot, like that and maybe one down here so and one in the link I have now created some ground control points and if I print out the map with these control points on it I'll be able to use these for referencing later but I can make life a wee bit easier for myself if I do an extra preparation here. If I look, this was create features. This one has called sketch properties. If I choose that, I have a XY display here. So I can click on one of my, double click on one of my points, and then I can make sure that I round it down to something nice and uh, suitable. So zero and also want a zero there. So I'm just moving the points to a nice coordinate that I can easily type in. So uh, 100 and I just move that 8 meters to 200. And this one I will just move uh, 3 meters so it will become 2000. So. I'm simply just moving my points to okay, come on um, a 
some nice rounded numbers without moving them too much. So, and I'll continue with the rest of them, but I will spare you for that. I have um, done my work now and I say stop editing. Well, we would like to have a list of these ground control points um, when we're going to enter our data later. So what I can do is I go into the attribute table of it and I can create two new attributes at, with using the add field, a x, x core, that will be a double and a add a field y coordinate that's also going to be a double. Once I got them, I can right click on them and choose calculate geometry and say I would like to assign the x coordinate to my x cores. Fine. And I would like to assign my Calculate geometry, assign my y coordinates to my y core, like this. And you can see these are the ones that are, have been rounded to nice numbers, so they are easy to enter. And of course, I should have done it for all of the points, but I've just only done it down here. Um, so now I've got my points, and I can uh, print out this table or I can copy it to Excel or whatever I need to do. So I have these uh, data for later use. Another final touch is I would probably like to change uh, the way that they look, symbology. So I will typically change them to a, go in as an edit symbol, create the circle a bit larger as I did for um, the tablet version here and then add a little cross on top of them like that and lighten up the background color depending on your map and so on but I'll just choose a nice color and remove the outline so now I've got some relatively easily identifiable um, targets that I can use for my later georeferencing of the map so once I'm finished um making my map ready i can change to my layout view and i can then go and i'll just print my map or if i wanted to have it with me on a on a um, as a document i can do a export map and then export it to uh, some city folder and uh, call it a uh, rook poster. Rook poster. Um, choose a reasonable resolution, 300 dpi, that's fine. And save it. And of course I could also print it and then take my printed map out um, with me into the field.